the final champions of the week, right? I know it's uh, real tough to hang in this, uh, this week here, especially on a Friday night, especially in Las Vegas. So uh, thank you for those of you who are here for your time. Um, I'd like to first find the clicker here. All right. Is this green play button the next slide? Thank you. So we'll start here. If you could view the screen and we'll take it from here. So money mastery, what you just saw up there, is, uh, as you read, there are over 30,000 high schools just in the United States alone. And every year, over 15 million students go to these high schools, and they learn a lot of different things. But they leave school without the ability to do one of the most important things in their lives, which is understand how to manage their own money. Right? Uh, none of these high schools are required to teach financial literacy. So we're going to get into that topic a little bit more. I know uh, this past week we spoke on financial literacy and some of the pain points in education, uh, one of them being the kind of education that the students are or are not receiving. Before I talk about a wealth of knowledge, I want to tell you about how I ended up on stage here today, uh, why I'm here today, uh, and a little bit about myself so you understand my story, uh, which will go full circle into how it's now uh, impacting education and how I'm working toward giving back to, to the world. So as some of you in this room may relate, I grew up poor. I grew up in a poor family and so did my parents. Back when my parents were growing up, born and raised in Tehran, Iran, uh, they had little to no money, right? The stories they tell me are they had no electricity, they had to go out and barrel in water from down the city, they had to boil this water, they all had to share that water in their household, right? So not the best of situations. Um, and as you all may know, Iran has had difficulty as, as a country and has had a lot of imbalance, especially in the 80s uh, when I was born, uh, there was a war in Iran. And my parents did their best to try and get out of that, to get out of there for their kids and hope with hopes to come to the United States as millions of other families. Thankfully, um, my dad had a friend in the military or police who said, I can help you get over to Switzerland. And from there, it'd be easier to come on over to the United States. So that's where my story began. I was born in Zurich, Switzerland. And when I was born, my family used to live in a hostel. For those of you who don't know what a hostel is, it is not somewhere you would like to live. It is not even somewhere you would like to stay for a night. A hostel is a place where it's a shared community for individuals, usually backpacking or traveling, college students maybe, or extremely poor families who have just enough dollars to put a box around them and live somewhere. That is a picture of me, I actually had the opportunity to go back to Switzerland a few years ago and visit the places which my family lived. I wanted to firsthand experience the experience we had uh, because when we came to the United States, I was too young. So that's a picture of me standing in front of the newly renovated hostel at that time. This picture was taken about four years ago. I did not plan on matching my pants to the building, but uh, it worked out that way. Here's a picture of the inside of the hostel. On the left side you see, and these are screenshots from a video, so apologies for not the best of quality here. But as you see on the left side, that's a community eating area. 
What that means is you don't have a kitchen in your room, there's no table, there's no space for any of this stuff. Uh, so downstairs on the first floor there are some tables that if you'd like to go eat something, you go ahead and eat it with the community who lives there or staying there at the time. On the right side, those are showers. Now, this is most recent, right? This is brand new renovated hostel. We've got door, we got walls in between, we have doors, but when we lived there, there was none of that. I actually FaceTimed my mom sitting right here when I was there, I was showing her around, and she's like, none of this, the walls and between the showers, that didn't exist. It was, you just took showers, right? Your floor has one set of showers like this, and you go in and you do your bathroom stuff, the showers there, and it, again, everything is shared, right? To emphasize the point of, not the best of living situations, right? <clears throat> not the worst, but it's not the best. Thankfully, my parents pushed, and with some good luck, we were able to move into the United States. However, that's really where all the trouble for me began, and my family as well. Uh, we continued in this obscure lifestyle, in this poor mindset, uh, raised primarily by my mom. She raised myself and my sister. Very hard times, uh, needless to say. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. <laughs> and, you know, I got upset at a really young age, really young age, maybe seven or eight years old. Why are we, why are we living this way, right? Why does that guy have this and that? And like, why don't we learn those things? Why don't we, we learn and, you know, make those connections and whatever it is we need to do, right? Why do we live this way? So, at again, about seven or eight, I started getting into budgeting. I decided that early, I'm not doing this for my life. That's a picture of a Dr. Seuss book. Uh, it's a children's book for, I'm sure everybody knows. Uh, but if you look a little closer, you'll see I'm actually budgeting in here. I didn't have no children's stuff going on. I took this thing and I started budgeting in here. This actually is not my first budget sheet. My first budget sheet is older than this and it's on a piece of paper folded up somewhere at home. As you can see the top line, dad owes me $1,400. Now I was about maybe 10. How does a 10 year old have $1,400? Everything that I might have been allotted as allowance or any single 20, 10 bucks I got as a birthday gift for my entire life, I kept it together, I folded it up in a wallet, I covered that wallet, put it underneath the bottom drawer, kind of hidden, right? Anyway, my dad needed to get a new cab, so I guess I helped him out. He still owes me the $1,400. <clears throat> Going back to the pain point of, you know, this information about finance and, and, and money and, and the situation that I was in, I was, I was always wondering, well, when are we gonna learn this stuff? Who teaches us? You know, maybe I'll learn in middle school. Didn't happen. Maybe I'll learn in high school. Didn't happen. So now we're about to get sent off into the world and I learned nobody's teaching anybody about anything about money or finance, right? So I took it upon myself to do everything I can to learn and grow my experience and to give back to the world what I did not have to those who might not have it or to those who also might need it. I went to undergrad at UC Irvine. I studied business economics. I actually loved the study of the mind and philosophy and psychology. Uh, that's what my desired major at the time was, but I had enough, right? We're doing business econ, we're doing money. Um, later on, I went to graduate school at University of Southern California, earned my <coughs> degree in Master of Business Administration. Along with that, I also got graduate certifications from USC. By the way, I worked full time throughout both of these schools and throughout going to those schools, not only did I work full time, I founded some nonprofit organizations to help give back and it, 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 would, oh, it was always just a balance for me between learning and giving, right? So that took up all of my time and my life, really. I've worked with poor people for the past nearly 10 years now, uh, my nonprofit organization, All for All, has been helping feed the, no, uh, the uh, homeless population in Skid Row, Los Angeles. So during Thanksgiving, we'll take full course cooked meals down to the pie and everything uh, for individuals 
at one of the largest homeless populations in the world, just Skid Row, Los Angeles. We've gotten sponsors from Whole Foods and some of the biggest law firms in the world, Oric, Reed, Reed Smith, and other supporters as well. I've worked with students, I've gone to high schools, lectured them on financial literacy, um, done webinars for them most recently, right? And I've also worked with the richest people in the world. I've, <clears throat> I've managed over $100 million while working at J.P. Morgan Chase. I've worked at Merrill Lynch, Northwestern Mutual. The longest time I spent was at uh, the Chase Bank. I was one of the top performing bankers in the United States. They flew me out to give me an award. I met Jamie Dimon, the CEO of one of the biggest banks in the world. There we are. <clears throat> after, after that, I went off to consulting. I started doing major, major deals for some of the biggest companies in the world. Pretty much if you open your phone, the 10 biggest apps on there, I've helped them make hundreds of millions of dollars. Not myself, alone, it's impossible, but with a team of individuals, right? I've managed over a billion dollars in sales deals for these companies, working with the top fortune companies, right? Down to the top five. And here's what I realized. I thought, you get these degrees, you go to these good schools, you get the most prestigious jobs, you do really well at them. <clears throat> the people around you need to know, right? They'll know about money, they know what's going on, they're smart. They were incredibly smart. I was working around some of the smartest people in the world. But they still had a problem in understanding how to manage their money. I've worked with thousands of individuals, rich and poor, as you, as you can see, <clears throat> and here's what I learned. Financial literacy is not a poor or a rich person problem. Financial literacy is an everybody problem. Okay, so what did I do about that? I let all of that prestige go. Um, I had a great experience and a great time doing it. The last two years of my life, I've committed all of my time and all of my money saving up since I was eight to build not only my uh, coaching and consulting company, which just focuses on business and personal finance. Uh, it's got personal coaching in there too, because if I talk to you strictly about money and your habits and behaviors and understanding are not on point, none of what you took away, you're going to be able to apply and use, right? But for the most part of the last couple years, I spent on creating the Money Mastery University. The Money Mastery University is the world's number one course in financial literacy. It is created for those who want to gain financial confidence in their future. Right, you take this course, you come out, my goal is for you to leave and say, yeah, I know, I got it, right? I can even go into the bank and talk to a financial advisor and I'll know what's happening. I know that they won't bamboozle me, right? I'll know what to do with my funds. Some of the things that we provide in Money Master University, everything from how to think about money, right? It's a mentality thing first, so we start with the fundamental of mentality. How do rich people think? How do poor people think? How do we cross that gap in our minds? Now most people have the misconception that rich people just have something and or they got rich so they think or feel or act some way. But let me tell you from thousands of clients and over 25 years of experience that is false. Your mindset creates your wealth, okay? It creates everything else around you as well, but it is also very important in wealth. We talk about loans to how to budget your money, to how to create strategic budget sheets, down to deep details of investing, the different kind of retirement accounts, the different type of loans for students, for cars, for houses, the HELOCs, the refinances, whatever you need to know, it's all there for you, right? And of course, personal tips and tricks and advice from what I've learned in dealing with thousands of people from my own experience are also included in the university. So how's the university set up? There's video content, but it's a fully interactive program. I don't want you to just sit there and watch a video for 10 hours and you know, feel like you have to get through this because you won't. Um, and I do want the individuals who sign up to this to take advantage of what they're signing up for. 
So we have quiz checks. You'll have pop-up quizzes. Hey, what did you learn? What did you take away from this? You gotta be paying attention, right? We have live Q&A sessions. We'll all be live on the call and you can send me your questions and join in on the call and I'll be answering those questions. You can go from your own personal finances if you wanna talk about that with other people online or questions about the course, whatever it might be. I got you. There are proprietary content, spreadsheets, PDF, interactive documents where you'll be able to download, keep for yourself while you follow along on the courses online and you plug away watching instructional videos, right? And at the end, you'll get a certification. And that certification is mostly for your own confidence and knowing I did this, I got this down, I got a certification from Money Master University, right? And I know what I'm doing for myself and my life. I wanted to keep in mind everybody when coming up with the strategy of this course or this program, right? My heart goes out to the next generations, to the kids, to the younger Tevons who don't have this information. And it blows my mind that 30 years ago it blew my mind and we still don't have anything happening around it. A little bit, right? We're starting to talk about it, but it's not there. So there's a basic version, it's intended for 13 to 17 year olds, right? Keeps it a little high level, but we still go from A to Z, from mindset, down to anything else you might need to know, including your student loans, how to budget, and the X, Y, Z. Then we have the elite, which I recommend for adults, 18 plus, and the elite dives a little deeper into some of the content, for example, home loans, right? Maybe a 14 year old doesn't need to know whether or not a 20 year refi is better than a 30 year or if I should pull out line of credit, right? That's too much for them. But if you're looking into that process, you can go ahead and watch the content on here and take advantage of that resource and know when you're going in to get a loan how to produce the best outcome for yourself. Elite also offers highly discounts, uh, discounted sessions on one-on-one -on -one if you want to talk a little bit more detail about and get personal with your finances and it offers you the live Q&A sessions, right? Elite offers everything basic does, but dives deeper into some of, the, some of the content, right? Like loans and investments and some other things like that. So we recently launched the courses, it's early bird pricing, uh, which is, I, I priced these programs specifically for everybody to be able to afford these programs, right? These programs, my initial idea um, w was in the thousands, thousands of dollars, and I couldn't do it because someone like me and my family 20 years ago sees that thing, it's gonna be really hard for them to do that. So, less than a couple hundred bucks. I'm giving 50% off on top of the early bird pricing. You can take one of these courses for less than a hundred bucks. Uh, you're gonna get over 20 hours of information and content, whatever it is that you need, I guarantee you, you'll leave with full confidence and faith in, in money management and understanding full scale how to think and deal with money. And I wanted to offer it to the individuals here, to your friends and your family, the limit will be at 250, so however it is that you wanna take advantage of it, or if you do, my website's up there, Money Mastery is what you click on to get more, and much more detail on what's offered, how it works, and X, Y, Z. And if you have questions, or if you think I can help, or if we can work together, whatever it might be, that's my email, shoot me an email. I would be more than happy to connect, more than happy to work together and build and create something that, that can last potentially a lifetime and change the world in, uh, in a positive way. So, that's, uh, that's all for what I have to say. I'll take questions and we could just do open forum for the next few minutes if uh, anybody has any questions or wants to chat about anything. Hi. Um, are you thinking, this is great, because I have um, teenagers who have no idea, short of what we tell them, nor was I taught this. Do you have any ideas or any um, plans to maybe expand that into classes at schools or something like that? Yeah, good question. So these will already be, uh, these courses are going to be taken in fall from the school district that I live in. Um, I, it sounds like you're in the education field. I'm not sure if you've heard of NAF Academy, but NAF Academy, it's kind of like DARE. It's not a part of every school, but 
you know, they come in there, it's a third party. And NAF, I'm the president of that for my school district, and we're implementing the courses in schools. So yes, absolutely, we're, we're launching these into high schools as well as universities as well. But I didn't want to limit that information to the people who are going that, that education route, right? I think this is a life education that everybody needs. So to answer your question, Yes, and it is also available privately. For schools, or licensing and different kind of deals, obviously, right, it's a, it's a little bit of a different package, but yes. All right, yeah. Is managing credit offered in your program as well? Absolutely. I wish, uh, you know, maybe I can go back a couple. No, I don't actually have it there. So if, if you go onto the website and you click Money Mastery, if you scroll down just a little bit, I hope this goes backwards. Yep, that's, that's what I'm in. There we go. So you'll see this on the website. If you click those arrows, it'll tell you exactly what's in there. Right? It'll tell you money mindset, what's in money mindset. And then we start from banking, what's in there. Yes, we talk about credit cards, loans, um, how to manage your debt, everything. Everything's included in there and inclusive. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you all for your time, and I hope you have a great weekend if you're staying here or not. Yeah.